It's now time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back to October the 12th of the year, 2024, when the Nashville Prayers were opening up their road schedule in Detroit against the Red Wings. Head coach Andrew Gnett deploys his lines and defensive combinations in the following way. Forsberg, O'Reilly, and Nyquist, Stamkos, Sissons, and Marcheseau. Tomasino Novak, Evangelista, your fourth line is Jankowski, McCarron, and Smith. Defensive pairings are Yossi and Fabro, Luzon and Carrier, Shea and Shen. You see Saros makes his season debut back from lower body injury after missing one game. We're a minute and 35 seconds into the first period in Detroit, and it's Talbot coming in with a save on Forsberg. That's the first shot on goal of the game for either team at the 140 mark. We find our first penalty, and that's Sherrod off to the box. A minute for hooking. He prevented Forsberg from getting a rebound opportunity that had a really good opportunity of succeeding, if not for the hooking. Talbot goes to work, coming with a save on Philip Forsberg, then another save on Tommy Novak, and then finally another save on O'Reilly, the Nashville Predators buzzing early in this game at the 441 mark of the first period. It's Soros coming up with a save on Kane's partial breakaway with the big kick out. What a way to get welcomed into a season right there. 653 of the first period. Soros comes up with a save on Rasmussen. 846 of the first. Soros a save on Johansson. 1037. Soros a save on Begrin. So you can clearly see the Detroit Red Wings are gaining their momentum and evening out the ice halfway through the period. 1043 now into the first period. Stamkos off to the box. Two minutes for slashing. Soros comes up with a save on Comper's jam attempt. Detroit had lots of zone time, but a couple of missed connections led to very few opportunities. The shots on goal started in this game 6-1 in favor of the Nashville Predators, now evened up at 7 apiece at the 1504 mark of the first period. The Nashville Predators start taking back some momentum. Talbot has to come up with a save on Yossi. 1541 Talbot, another save, this time on Forsberg's heavy shot at the 1745 mark of the first period. Talbot comes with a save on Dante Fabro, 1822. Soros on the other end of the ice, a save on Moore off of the rush, but the Preds immediately back to work. And at 1909, Talbot's coming up with another save on the captain, Roman Yossi, in 1955. Talbot, a save on Philip Forsberg through traffic. So we see three different sections of this period. The early portions of the first dominated by the Preds, the middle portion dominated by the Wings, and then the end of the third period, the final five minutes dominated by the Nashville Purse. The shots on goal were had to be 16 to 8 at the end of the first period, but there is no score. Can the Predators keep the momentum going into the clean sheet of the second period? At 102 of the second period, it indicates they cannot as Comfer breaks through for the wings, giving them a 1 0 lead on his first goal of the season. It was a tip in of a high shot in the low slot. Everybody taking a look, checking it out, but it's deemed to be a good and legal goal. The Red Wings on top, second game in a row to open the season where the Predators fall behind and have some tough luck early in the second period. 3.50 now of the second period. It's Mott hitting the post as Detroit is now surging with momentum. 7.44 of the second period. Saros comes up with a save on Valeno. 9.01 of the second period. Saros comes up with a save on Raymond's backhand on the doorstep after a bad turnover by the defense. Halfway through the game now, we find ourselves to the 10.07 mark of the second. And Saros comes up with a save on Valeno plus the follow-up by Begrin plus the follow-up then by by Valeno again, a five-star sequence for UC Soros in this game, keeping the Nashville Predators in it. At 10.31 of the second, Luzon's off to the box. Two minutes for interference. Soros comes up with a save on Larkin, then also comes up with another big save on DeBrinket. Preds penalty kill successful. 12.35 of the second, Soros comes with a save on DeBrinket again. 14.25 now of the second, Larkin's off to the box. Two minutes for high sticking on Philip Forsberg. Talbot does come up with a save on Shea, but the Preds power play, even with all those names out there, unable to break through. 1642, uh, the second Saros comes up with a save on Valeno. 1750, the second Talbot comes up with a save on Stamkos at close range. At 1823, it's Nyquist in a jam attempt that is turned aside by Talbot in 1902 of the second period. Cider off the box, two minutes for tripping. Nyquist doing a good job earning this power play. For the Predators, Talbot would come up with a save on Stamkos' one-timer. We'd hit the end of the second period. The Predators now with 28 shots on goal. The Red Wings with 18 shots on goal. Carry over into the third period. The Predators power play for the Predators of a minute and three seconds. Talbot comes up with one save on Yossi. Preds again unable to convert 
on the man advantage. 2.40 into the third period. It's Talbot now coming with a save on Dante Fabra. This is the 30th shot on goal for the Nashville Purs in this game. So they continue the incredible high shot volume through the first two games. 6.35 as we flip over to the backside of the sheet. We find Cop picking up his first goal of the season. Some pinball action finds its way past UC Sarson into the net. Detroit now leads 2 to nothing in the third period on home ice. At 8.44 to the third period, it's Talbot coming with a save on Tomasino. 11.25, Talbot comes up with a save on O'Reilly's jam. Attempt at 15.28, Philip Forsberg hits the post. Predators unable to break through. 16.47, we find Talbot making another save on Shea. 17.58, Talbot continues his work. Coming with a save on Yossi. And at 18.41, one more on Steven Stamkos. Stamkos getting a number of looks here towards the end with the extra attacker on. But with the extra attacker on, we find the empty net goal in favor of the Detroit Red Wings at 19.40. Larkin picking up his first of the season, giving Detroit a 3-0 lead, and that would be your final in this game. The Nashville Predators do outshoot the Detroit Red Wings 40-22, to so the trend in shots on goal and shots against keeps up through two games with the Predators being highly impressive with shot volume and also shot limitations on the defensive side of things, but the Predators offense, especially the Predators power play, unable to break through, unable to find any success in their first road game of the season, and this leads to a tough loss on a Saturday Saturday night in Detroit for the National Purs. Now a chance to regroup. They'll come back home. They'll face off against the Seattle Crack and, and have a couple more games on the homestand to try to get things going in a positive direction. But the Detroit Red Wings take this one 3-0. These two teams will rematch again in a pretty bizarre early season schedule and caveat again next Saturday, wrapping up their season series. That's going to do it for the Reaver of Sports full game recap. We've got analysis, box score, and so much more coming up next right here on the Renegades of Puck Podcast.